Thunder. Stacy, hello. Hi, Vivian. Brenda Chen, good morning. Susan, morning. Sun Sun, morning. Good morning. Happy Buddha's Day, yes. Happy Buddha's Day. Good morning, Christina. Hi, Eva. So today's practice would be both on Instagram and also on Pure's Facebook. Hi, Van Van. Hi, Queenie. Ella, morning. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, pink is a good color to wear. Good morning, Maggie. Samantha, good morning. Adeline Yi, hello. Brenda Lo, hello. Sandy. Quinny, uh, well, yeah, it's a level two, so there would be always some options given. Today's level two would be slightly different. I'll be making the holding time less. Uh, Esther, good morning. And uh, yeah, the holding times will be a bit lesser and we'll continue flowing more today for a change. And that should reduce down the intensity a little bit. Clara, hello. Hi, Thomas, welcome back. So if this is your level two for the first time, you can raise your hand up or say something out. So I know that how many of you haven't done a level two before, so I can accordingly modify the flow if that's required. Which well, hi. Hope your practice in India is doing good. Okay, so let's wait for another minute or so. So everybody can chip in and get online for the practice to start. Rolina, hello. Elsa, hi. Betty, hello. Hi, Katie. So I presume that we are going to start up our practice back on the studios by the coming week, if everything goes fine. Namaste, Ujjwal. So we have got like around 150 here, 40 around, okay. Okay, so uh, again, this is a level two. Please uh, check the right options which suits your standard of practice. Um, in level two, it is not about trying to complete every single thing which comes into you. Take the level two if this is your new practice or you haven't done enough of that. Uh, a journey to learn. So just continue working on building up a physical awareness on where your strengths and weaknesses are and from there the initiation begins. So just enjoy the practice. It's important that we enjoy the practice nicely rather than having a target that I want to really complete every single thing of the practice. Okay, so take it really slow. And uh, th uh, the options are extremely important. When we are talking about level two class, the challenge which the beginners feels when they transit from level one to two is the strength with their upper body, which uh, is a combination of their back strength, their core strength, and also their upper body, arm strength. So all these three components, if they are stable in you, I do not think it's going to be an extremely difficult practice to handle. Okay, and today's one is gonna be a little bit more milder. Oh yeah, I know in Singapore, it's gonna take a bit more longer time. And uh, I think both in Hong Kong and Singapore, we'll keep doing the online classes, so you're still gonna be able to access the classes with us. I really hope things are settling down over there soon too. I have lots of students and friends over there. Those of, they are also waiting for it. Vinci, good morning. Winnie, good morning. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, I'll turn off the commenting for the IG. And you can swipe to your right side if you are doing the Facebook and you can focus on the screen.
Right. Let's start the practice today from a child's pose. So modify your child with the knees getting wide. Fold forward from the hips. Relax the hands. And bring in a gentle, soft touch of your forehead down on the mat. Feeling the contact points of your forearms. Soften down the shoulders. Relax the weight of the head from the neck. And relax those legs. And let the torso fold over, just naturally feeling the contact in connection with the gravity. Complete practice is a combination of energy, upliftment, and also sublimation. Right now in the second part, we will let go, surrender, and just be watchful of how the body is reacting to the simple posture. Take two more deep breaths here. sitting. Let's begin in all fours position. So come up on your shins and on your palms. I get two mats so that some of the practices which I need to do I can change the dimension so it's easier for you to see. So from there tuck the toes under on the next inhale. Roll the shoulders back. Sing the ribs and lift up the head. Exhale round the back and so they can the spinal energy. Inhale, sing down, reach up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale, fold in, stretch the entire spine. Come back to neutral on the next inhale. Keeping the toes tucked in, press down to the ball of the feet and lift the knees off the floor by just two inches. And starting to build up the shoulder strength. Go into a posterior pelvic tilt by scooping the tailbone slightly inward so you want to create that rounding of the back which starts engaging in through the core muscles. Avoid sinking down into the chest. You want to press and lift up. Protract it out fully. Hold this for two more breaths. And then set your knees back down to the floor. Take an inhale. On your exhale, press down, lift the knees back up again. Push down those palms, protract, open up those scapula. Scoop the tailbone, rounding the back, ribs are in, so your core starts to engage. You're feeling that slight vibration into the posture. As well, some Sensation begins to build around those deltoids. Arms are straight for one more breath. And then send your butts up, coming into a downward facing dog. Walk the dog, switch out those calves. Press the heels down, one, then the other one. Morning, some dynamic practice is always good. Helps to really soften out those joints and allows energy flow to become more subtle. Seize the movement, stay in a static form, stretch it out in a full dog, reaching those ribs in, take two more breaths. The shoulders unwinds and wraps out. 
one more breath. Good. Come forward and plank. Inhale. Exhale, bring knees, chest, chin down. Shift forward, come up in cobra on the next inhale. Rolling the shoulders back. Choose any form which feels good. If you're someone who needs usually a bit longer to feel the back getting tamed, you might want to start with a lower version. As the shoulders are back, hug the elbows in towards the ribs. Take one more breath here. Lift slightly higher and use the butt muscles of the back to do that action instead of the hands assisting you. Good. Tuck toes under, push back, downward facing dog. Do a few of these. Inhale to plank. Exhale, knee, chest, shin. Inhale, open up, cobra. Exhale, push back, dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, ground. Inhale, up into cobra. Exhale, push back to dog. One more. Inhale, plank. Exhale, set it down. Inhale, shift up. Exhale, dog. Inhale, right foot lunges forward. Exhale, left foot sits in. Separate those feet at the hips with. Lift the body halfway. Inhale there. Exhale and fall down. Grab the opposite elbows. Surrender to gravity. Bend the knees if necessary. And as much as necessary. With five more remaining breaths, see if this position of the hands feels good or you would like to add any other modifications on that Uttanasana. Last breath. Great. Release the hands, meet in the feet together. Utkatasana, bend knees, squat, reaching up. Soften the shoulders. Transfer the weight back towards the heels. Now begin to sink down on the count of five, four, three, two, one. Come all the way down to the floor. Open the knees, get seated with control, extend out into a low Navasana. Squeeze the legs into each other. You know, like that for 15 seconds only. Starting to generate the energy in the core. Ten to go. Okay, come all the way back up. Squat down. If possible, without the use of the hands, lean forward. Come back up. Raise arms over. Count of five. We go up to Utkatasana. Five, four, squeeze the knees in. Three, to hold the Utkatasana for three breaths. Count of three, going back down to the floor. One, two, three. Open the knees, set your sitting bones down, and back to Navasana. Round two. 15 seconds more. back up one last time open the knees feet together knee shift come up count of three go up in Utkatasana one two three raise arms up hold it for three more breaths and fall forwards exhale inhale lift halfway exhale step back dog inhale plank Exhale, Chaturanga, lowering down. Inhale to upward facing Murakobra. Exhale to downward facing dog. One more. Inhale to plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Wrap the elbows in. Inhale to up dog. Exhale to downward facing. Let's take four breaths here. Great. Bring those feet together. 
And then raise your right leg up into a three-legged dog. Set your right foot forwards in between the pumps. Lift up into an inclined high lunge. So your body stays at a 45 degrees, arms extends up. So you have your biceps and ears in one plane. You connect that straight line of energy from fingertips all the way back to your left heel with that 45 degrees retained. One more breath. Join the bombs in prayer. Shift, warrior three, come up. Any hands position is fine. Choose option which works for you. Square in those hips, legs strong. Come up into standing. Bring your left knee up to the chest. Keep the palms in prayer and extend your left leg forward. Taking your time to slowly start sinking down on your right leg. You want to squat all the way down, so stretch the arms forward. It gives a better counter stability. Lowering all the way down, slow, gentle, hold this for three, two, one, get grounded. Lie down back into Navasana one more time. This time, bring your hands out to the ears. Exhale, lift your left knee, right elbow to the left knee. Inhale, center. Exhale, two, switch, center, three, center, four, ten of that, center, five, center, six, center, seven, twist, center, eight, center, center is important, remember, nine, center, so don't skip that point, ten, Center, stretch the arm forward, hold it for four, three, two, up, cross legs, downward facing dog. And take a few slow deep breaths. Inhale to plank, exhale, take a push up, chaturanga, push back to plank. And drop the hips down to upward facing dog. Push back to downward facing dog. Join the feet together. Let's go to the other side. Raise the left leg up. Inhale. Exhale, set your left foot forward. Inclined lunge. So 45 degrees body. Arms extends up. Biceps ears in one plane. Strong back leg. To increase the challenge, begin to bend that left leg more. Decrease it by unbending it. Feel that straight line from fingers all the way to your right heel. Palms in prayer, shift, warrior three. Choose hands position as for what feels good and feels stability and add it with some spice of challenge. Strong back leg. Hip squared. Palms in prayer. Up and standing. Extend that right leg forward. Stretch the arms front. Nice and slow. Start to go down. Squat. Hold. <laughs> Hold that. Four or four. Three. And keep that right quads active, hip flexor active, keep reaching up, two. All right, sit here, sitting bones down. Lean all the way back, one more round of those bicycle crunches. Arms out to the side of the fingers. Start with the right side first, right leg up, exhale, left elbow to the right knee. Inhale, set it down, exhale, switch two. Inhale, exhale, three, inhale. Exhale four, inhale, exhale five, inhale, six, inhale, seven, inhale, eight, inhale, nine, inhale, ten, inhale, stretch the arms forward, squeeze the legs in together for ten seconds. Start to have an arch with the lower back. 
Bend the knees, seal that curl, and make sure that there is nothing in there. Nothing can go underneath the lower back of the floor. Three, two, one. Up, cross, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Take a push up, plank back up. Drop the hips up, dog. Inhale. Down dog, exhale. And take four breaths. Set the knees down. One inversion of your choice. It can be a headstand, a pinchamayurasana, a handstand, and all these three practices you can do it with or without the wall's assistance, which would depend on your experience or practice. So ready? Let's go. Bring it up. Thirty seconds. Fifteen. Gentle and slow, take it down, rest in the child's pose. Bring the hands next to the legs. So allow the shoulders to soften down. I like this form after I finish off my inversion hold. This gives me more freedom around those collarbones to feel very relaxing. Five deep breaths. Great. Let's join back up and down with facing dog. Change my orientation. Allowing the feet to stay separated, raise the right leg, bend and open it out to the left side. Flip that over, coming into the wild thing. Any versions of forms of gears there. Great, we're turning back in a three leg dog. Step the right foot outside of your right palm. Open up the right side of the body into a gentle twist. So right hand raises up. The left leg is strong. Finding the right amount of twist. One more breath. Good, look down. Bring the right palm down, walk those arms forward for your lizard lunge. So the right knee hugs into the middle line, letting the hips to stay low, chest to stay low. Foot now towards the front to the left side so as to come into a prasarika or kanasana position. Check the planes of the feet there in one line. Inhale, lengthen here. 
Exhale and fall forward. So if you wish to, just focus on the hamstring with the hands grabbing your ankle or big toes. Or if you have got a flexible hamstring, you might want to wrap your arms back, interlock the fingers and switch out those shoulders, choose anything. Option one, stay where you are. Option two, a teddy bear. With a tripod stance, your crown of the head comes down in that triangular format in respect to the palms. You want to walk your knees up on top of the tricep and just stay here. You might want to take a walk in case there is any judgments over the form and make sure that you're safe. That is most important. And also if you can go into a full tripod, go ahead. Not very long. Keep those legs strong, elbows hugging in. So all the legs, slow and gentle. Return back, push back, walk yourself back to the right side, step back and down dog. Inhale plank, take a push up, exhale, chaturanga, back to plank, go down the hips of dog. Reaching the left leg up, bend and open it out to the right. Wild hip. Keep the right arm strong. Press into the right arm so your right shoulder starts widening. Good. Return back. Three leg dog. Step the left foot outside of the left palm. Right palm comes to the center. Open the left side of the body with a nice slow twist. Strong back leg. So avoid sinking on that right arm. You want to push into the right palm, creating lots of space around you. Good. Look down. As the left arm comes down, start walking the fingertips forward into a lizard lunge. The hips lower. And the lizards is all about keeping the hips and the chest in one plane. And that starts to stimulate those deeper hip muscle groups. Walk back up. So turning the left foot towards the right side. Check the plane of your feet. Inhale, lend the spine. Exhale and fold. Stay, grab the ankle or the toes or wrap your arms back into locking the fingers. Choose what works for you. Press the palms down. Any hesitation, stay here. Do not go upside down. And if you go, make sure you know the drill as well. Triangular form, equilateral triangle. Crown of the head and the palms forming that triangle format. The key of this. Hug the elbows in, rest the head. You might just want to pull the weight of your head over here, and that's sufficient. And maybe walking those knees up one at a time, and maybe coming up. Choose. Legs squeezing in, elbows are in, ribs are in. Settle and go back down. Push back up. Walk into your left foot. Down dog. Inhale plank. Push up, chaturanga, plank, up dog, exhale down dog. Bring the knees down, 
to rest in a child's pose. Again, bring the hands next to your hips. Relax for a few bits. Good. Come back up. Let's shine back and down dog. Let's do one more sequence here. On the next inhale, once again, raise your right leg up. This time, set your right foot forwards outside of your right palm one more time. Set yourself on the left fingertips, right hand on the right hip, shift to stand up, revolve half moon, raise the right hand up. Strong bottom leg, high upper leg, open up the shoulder fully. Look down, right hand on the right hip, you want to hover that left knee into the chest, get seated, and slowly extend that left leg forwards. See in this one. Set your right foot up on top of the left upper thigh. Half lotus. If you have tight your hip, feel free to set it down on the floor. Round the sit bones. Inhale, lend it up. Exhale, fold forward. Wrapping the right arm back to reach the big toe across the waistline is an option. Good. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, release. Set your right foot down one more time, where it was previously. Press into the left palm, stretch the right arm forward. Use the right foot and the left arm. Push, lift up the hip. Extend your left leg straight back, knee straight, both knees straight. And then from there, bend the right knee again. Bring the left knee on the outside of your right foot. Your left knee outside of the right foot. We do a twisting. Set your right hand back. Take your left hand over and across and twist. Keep the same form. I will turn my angle slightly towards the front so you can see what's exactly going on from there. So your left arm is crossing across the right outer thigh. You want to use your right arm to push and lift the hip. Set your hands down into a side curl. Shift, pick it up. Left foot up first, then your right foot up. Let's see if you want to go in a Kundinyasana one, transiting into Kundinyasana two, it's up to you. And you go back the same way exactly. So bring that left knee underneath the right foot, set it down into that spinal twisting. Ah. It's a kind of dancing movement. You move from one end to another, and you continue flowing that in the rhythm. If it did not work, that's okay. No worries. Okay, cross your legs from there, sit back and down and facing. So two breaths before we get started on the other side. Good. Elevate the left leg up, inhale. And then step the left foot outside of the left palm. Come on the right fingertips. Left hand on the left hip. Shift and up you go. Revolve half and raise the left hand up. Strong bottom leg, elevated right leg, lift the shoulder and chest. Good. 
Look down, left hand on the hip, plant the right palm slowly, bend the right knee into your chest, stretch the left hand forward, hover, and slowly extend it out. Get seated. Bring your left foot up, half lotus, or a basic jump shift asana. Ground down, legs, arms, and inhale, fold, exhale. So we can back up. It's our release. Set your left foot down to its previous position. Set your right palm right side of the right thigh. Stretch the left arm forward. Push from the right palm and the left foot. Lift the butts. Bend the right knee. Extend it back first. Keep everything strong here. And then bend the right knee. Set the right knee outside of your left foot. And get seated. Spinal twist. Right hand up, take it across, and twist. Binding is an option, that works better for you. Good. Look down, getting ready. Use your left palm, lift the hips. Set your right palm down. Set your left palm down. Lean forward. And come up. Left foot first, then the right foot. Say crow. Variations are your own, but just stay there with me. Now bring that right knee underneath your left foot first. So you're getting back the right shin and sit it back in the same way without twisting. One breath as we twist again. Lift the right leg back up again. Bend and open, wild thing. One more round. Let's see if you want to go in a deeper back, then maybe even in a V pose this time. Bring it back up. Three leg dog. Step your right foot outside of the right palm one more time. Listen carefully. Set your left heel down this time. You want to brace your right armpit underneath the right shin. So actually your shin is resting on top of the armpit. So it's from the front and not from under. Press into the right palm, grab hold of your right foot or ankle and bring up the foot. Stay there and raise up your left hand. Doesn't work? Don't worry, just keep trying. Bring your left palm down. Kundinyasana 2. So open, mount the right leg on top of the right upper arm. Lower down. You might stay just here with your left foot down or shift to bring it up. Push back, three leg dog. Bend, open, wild thing. One more time. Maybe a wheel with a shorter stance. And return back to your dog. Inhale, plank, exhale, chaturanga. Up dog, relax the right foot. Down dog. Breathe. Bring the knees down, bring the toes closer, rest those shoulders. Let's take another chance first. Sometime a break, an intermittent short rest can help us to 
build a better muscle control, a better understanding about what exactly those new poses are trying to ask us to do. One more breath. Good. Go back up. Let's shine back and down dog. Left leg up, three leg. Bend open. Go ahead. One thing. Maybe that's your bean again. Not isolating bean practices today. We'll be having lesser back than the usual, but these are your chances. Take them. Put on back. Three leg dog. Set the left foot outside of the left palm. Set your right sole down fully. So you want to lower down, bending that left knee. Wrap your left tricep under. So your left shin rests on top of your armpit. Grab the ankle of the foot for a supported lift. And from there, bring it up. Strong back leg. And press it down. Mount your inner thigh on top of the left upper arm. Shift, stay here. Or pick your back leg up. Pick up a little vinyasana too. And push back, three leg, bend, open, last wild thing. Or your final wheel. Set it back, three leg dog, and vinyasa. Bring the knees down, roll those calves out, get seated. Check again if you need to sit elevated on a block or a folded blanket or towel if the knees or ankle takes a lot of weight. Take your time to proceed and lie down on your back. Arms overhead, grab the opposite elbows. You're aspiring for a deeper back bend from there. Let that be a combination of Supta where you are and partly even to a Kapodasana, so lifting up with the palms sitting underneath the shoulder, pushing and coming into a form of full camel pose. Listen to your body. And that shouldn't be confused with laziness. The body says, good to go. Mind might say, oh, it's okay, I just take the easier option. That is laziness. Body says, good to go. Mind says, yes, let's follow. That is being present. Last four breaths. Palms to the feet, press elbows down to sit up. Switch out the legs forward. Tap the knees, roll your ankle. It's forward. 
stretch those legs out. Let's come into a lotus right foot up first. The left follows. Take the right arm up, wrap it on your left shoulder blade. Take the left arm from the back, walk in and interlock the fingers. If that's challenging, always have that option of a towel gripping in and walking through. You've got a choice to just stay there or to go into a forward fold if you're looking for more. Bring the legs out, sit side, left foot, and that's all right. Left arm from the top, looking back, right arm from bottom. Close your eyes as you're practicing this. Come back up, release slowly. Stretch out the legs. Widen out the legs up. Coming into Bhavishya Konasana. Grab the sitting bones, check the angle which works for you. Reach arms up, inhale. Exhale, go to your right side, fold and hold. There's a tendency of the body collapsing backward. You can try resting the right palm, stacking on as a resistance and your left arm holding the ultra right foot. This can help the torso to come into a symmetric form and then get down. Focusing a lot more clearly on the hamstring. Exhale, relax. Raise arms up, in. Twist your left, right palm to the outside of your left foot. Use the left palm to lift, reach the right chest down. On the exhale. Turn to your right side one more time. This time use the palms. You might want to take a block or two if that's necessary. We're switching the Hanumanasana. So using the hands, lift, rotate the back leg, and turn. Start sinking down. So you wish to have the hands on top of a block. In here. Tying the block down, whichever form works for you. Back 
that might be a choice for you since we have done less of those today. Or just maybe staying upright, finding your own line. Two more breaths. Sit back on the right hip. Turn your left leg outwards. Externally, you're back to the Uparishta Kanasana. Switching sides to carry a block with you. Use the hands, lift up. Rotate the back leg and come in. Check your back legs orientations. You don't want it to go diagonal. It's more in the same lateral line as the edge of the mat. Then you want to start shifting the right hip bone forward. So the hip flexor starts to feel the length, not just limiting that into the hamstrings. The spine is tall. Good. Set off. Sit down on your left sitting bone. Externally rotate the right thigh as we go back into Bhavishya Kanasana. See if you have got room to get some more width. Just using the hands behind to really reach forward. Inhale, exhale, walk down and fold. Let's hold this for one minute. Just lowering down. Lost fifteen seconds. Give a gentle hug to your legs. Straighten the legs, huh? Feet are together, ground the sitting bones, we'll do a Paschimottanasana. Two minutes, raise arms, inhale, fold. Back when you're drawn. So, if you want to have a block as an option to wrap across the bottom of the feet to gain length.
last minute ago, so if you wish to choose going in a wider leg stance, bringing the chest further though, or even going into a cool mass on a tortoise pose, or simply just stay here in Bhashimottanasana. more breaths. Inhale, come back up. Join the feet together, Urvokanasana. Place the palms behind the hips, roll the shoulders back, press into the feet, reach the hips up, inhale, shoulders back, hips high. One more, shoulders back, hip high. Last one time, hips high, over the shoulders, take it back bending. And relax. Separate the feet as wide as the mat, ground the sitting bone. Una Manasana, seated twisting. So you're going to turn to your right side with your right palm in the same line as your left sitting bone and your left palm in the line with the right sitting bone walking slowly forward without lifting the left hip try sinking the chest down open the right shoulder so that stretches the right chest as well Lift that left shoulder. Keep those sitting on down. Exhale to try and sink as the left shoulder opens. The chest stretches. Sit in a cross-legged position. Join the palms in prayer. At least suggested to take eight to ten minutes of shavasana after this. And if the body's energy level feels good, continue doing some sun practice. Thank all of you for joining with me this morning. The light in me allows the light in you. Namaste. So, I hope that you enjoyed the practice today. IG will get cut off in 20 seconds. I'll end the session now. Thank you for joining today. I hope all of you are feeling good after the practice. Thank you, Grace. Thank you, Yo-Yo. Uh, so, Phoebe, thank you. Mary, thank you. Lila, thank you. If you have got any questions regarding uh, any aspects of your practice, uh, please feel free to send over queries you can Put it in a comment over here. And uh, thank you, Yoyo. Thank you, Sansan, Thomas, Namaste. And in case you have Quinny, thank you. And I hope that it wasn't very difficult for you as you initially stated. Thanks, Christina. Thanks, Zoe. Thank you, Quinny. So, any questions at all you have got, uh, send it over to me. 
My Instagram is yoga samrat y o g a s m r a t no spaces in between. If you have missed out any of these sessions, uh, also please go ahead to my YouTube, which is yoga samrat as well. No gaps. All these sessions are being recorded over there. Thank you, Eileen. Ninety minutes will be back when the center opens. Rolina, Caroline, Alashan, June, Ling Ling, Queenie. Thank you, everybody. And um, um, also, just to note that uh, Pure's certain facilities are opened up, like the Nude Food, it's already out in the Star Street, the Kinvik Center, and uh, another couple of more centers. Uh, so check them out if you want to go and just hang around for a while there. Also, stay tuned for all the online classes which are being broadcasted in Pure's official channel. And also, um, I take classes almost every day on my Instagram channel. I would usually take Tuesday, Thursday and Sundays for Pure Official. Other days are on my own channel, so feel free to join them. Uh, the schedule is uploaded on my IG every week, so that should be there once you look back at the post which I have made. So thank you again for watching. Um, stay healthy, stay happy. Any questions at all you have got, send them over. I'll make my time to contact you directly. Uh, have a lovely day. Namaste, and I hope to see you all soon here. Thank you.